Hey YouTube, my name is Matthew, and as far as I know, this channel is still called Cook Vending. Now, the reason why it's still Cook Vending is because that was the name given to my business when I was like 18 years old. I'm going to be 32 uh, this year, and as you know, I've come up with all kinds of different products. I've got posters for the Bible. I've got a book for the Bible. I've got uh, a mode wheel for music. I also have a chord chart for the mountain dulcimer. And um, right now, I'm seriously considering doing flashcards to continue this music theme for the uh, uh, um, to learn the where the notes are placed on the staff. So like for example, maybe there's 52. There's a lot more guys. Um, there's probably like almost 200 different uh, ones that you could really learn if you wanted to do majors, minors, diminished, uh, augmented, you know, augmented sevenths, different things like that, various uh, types of chords. So my idea is to do something like that, but this right here, 52 cards, right? So I just imagine that times four, that would be a gigantic deck. That would almost be redundant to do so maybe you just do the easy stuff, the, the majors and the minors, the diminishes and the augmenteds. Uh, and in that case, it probably would be roughly about 52 uh, cards. The reason why I want to do this, though, is because a couple months back, my boss at the job that I work at asked me if I wanted to buy his business from him. That's really cool. I mean, how many people can say that that's ever happened to them? Probably not very many. I feel very blessed uh, and, and very, uh, uh, very thankful that he even considered me. Um, but so I'm learning all this different stuff. Um, for one thing, I'm learning how to uh, set up and dress uh, the instruments as they come in, uh, like the mountain dulcimers and stuff, if they need work done to them. I'm also learning how to sell in a different fashion. So my boss, he's given me different pointers and he's writing stuff down what he thinks uh, would be helpful for me to uh, sell. Uh, later on, they'll probably teach me more on tax stuff. I already have, you know, my EIN and, and all that stuff, but here's the thing. My business name, like I said at the beginning of this video, is Cook Vending. What's that have anything to do with music? Nothing except for Cook Vending sounds like an umbrella term for a whole bunch of other categories. That's kind of my second intention uh, when I was a kid, I wanted uh, to do the vending machines, but I also wanted to sell other products. And I wanted my family involved. That's why I called it Cook's Vending. So, uh, but they're just the kind of people that they don't want to do any of that stuff. You know, they'd rather uh, just, you know, work for somebody else, go home and relax, which is all well and good, but you're only going to make a certain amount of money. Uh, and that's basically... Uh, living on the edge, as Bon Jovi would say. Uh, anyways, uh, I feel very thankful that uh, my boss has, uh, you know, given me this fantastic opportunity. Um, but knowing me, I want to have product that I feel passionate about that I can sell. Um, the cord. Uh, cards, those sell all the time because it is a Mountain Dulcimer Chord card. Uh, and the mode wheel, those sell to the college students and the 
the people who are really into music and they want to learn a lot. So this store is really centered on the first time musicians. So these products that I made are kind of there for the, uh, for the person who has learned a lot already, or they're not intimidated rather uh, by this wealth of knowledge. Uh, so I figured these, uh, these cards here, if I was to do, uh, you know, like I said, about 52 cards in a deck and make a deck and sell it for five, 10, $15, I'm sure they will sell because for the first time musician, they do need to learn how to read that sheet music. And that was the best way to help me learn. My boss, not my boss, my my uh, uh, band director in high school. After school, he would go to my family's church and we would have to practice our instruments. And because we were going to do some, uh, uh, you know, performing at the church on Sunday uh, or even that Wednesday night stuff. And he already knew that I was struggling and granted it's, it was like four years into playing and I still didn't really grasp all the notes. I was always kind of faking it. I didn't understand it until he started doing these uh, flashcards with me and he had like 12 cards or maybe even 24 and he was doing the notes for me. And so in this case, it'd just be the 12. He would be like, Hey, What's this note? What's that note? What's that note? And of course, they would be in like three different places. So you have 36 different cards for the notes. That helped me tremendously. And I want to give back to those who, uh, uh, who want to learn or are too scared to learn and say, hey, this is how I learned. This is uh, a gift for me to you, uh, it's fifteen dollars, you know, or whatever. So yeah, guys. So that's where I'm at right now. I know I haven't put out a lot of content, uh, and the reason why is because this whole music thing. And I think I want to turn this channel into a music channel uh, at some point. And of course, you know, those who dig deep into my uh, videos. We'll be able to watch uh, videos on the biblical stuff or Stephen King or whatever. But uh, in the future, I do want to make my videos in uh, the music shop itself uh, and uh, see where that goes. Guys, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notifications button too so you can get more content like this in a more timely manner. You guys have a fantastic blessed day and we'll see you in the next video.